Hello and welcome to another Salty Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking about a promising new technology, solar powered illuminated buoys designed to reduce sea turtle bycatch in coastal gillnet fisheries. Coastal gillnets are set near the surface or just below. They're inexpensive, easy to use and vital to small scale fishers who provide nearly half of the world's seafood. These nets sustain coastal communities with food, income and livelihoods. Gill nets work by trapping fish around their gills. A fish's head slips through the mesh, but its body can't. When it tries to back out, its gills catch and it becomes trapped. Stationary gill nets are often anchored to the seabed or poles, targeting bottom dwelling species near the shore. Fishers can leave them fishing unattended how they work elsewhere. The downside is that gill nets don't just catch fish, they also entangle non-target species like seabirds, marine mammals, sharks, rays and sea turtles. And in places where gill nets overlap with turtle nesting or feeding grounds, bycatch can be high, leading to injuries, death and population declines. To tackle this, Scientists and fishers have been working together on ways to help turtles see and avoid these nets. Since turtles rely heavily on vision, researchers have tested lights and glow sticks to make nets more visible underwater. For example, a 2013 study in Mexico found that adding LED lights to gill nets reduced green sea turtle captures by about 40% without affecting the haul of the target fish. And more recent trials in Indonesia show 61 to 62% reduction in turtle bycatch, again with no loss of fish catch. So if illuminated nets work, why aren't they used everywhere? Well the problem is that traditional LED or light stick systems just aren't practical. They need batteries, they're heavy, they snag gear, cost money and require constant maintenance. Many small-scale fishers simply don't have the time or resources for that. That's where this new innovation comes in. Solar-powered flashing LED buoys that attach directly to a gill net's float line. They were designed with fishers in mind. They attach just like regular floats, they're buoyant and they don't interfere with normal gear handling. They charge themselves using solar power, work in low light, and flash intermittently to save energy. The green lights are bright, durable, and pose minimal snag risk. In a recent field trial in Mexico's Gulf of California, nets fitted with these buoys were placed every 10 meters along the float line, and they achieved an impressive 63% reduction in sea turtle bycatch compared to unlit nets. For fishers, fewer turtles caught means less damaged gear, less time untangling nets, and there was no loss of target catch. It's a true win-win for both turtles and people, and the benefits ripple outward. Sea turtles are ecosystem engineers. For example, green turtles maintain seagrass beds, leatherbacks help control jellyfish populations, and hawksbill control the growth of sponges on coral reefs. Their movements transfer nutrients between habitats and the nutrients they leave buried on the beach from unhatched eggs and shells help beach vegetation to thrive in what is otherwise a very nutrient poor ecosystem. Healthy turtle populations means healthy oceans and healthy oceans in turn sustain coastal fisheries and communities. Protecting turtles is also protecting the livelihoods that depend on the sea. Of course, this isn't a silver bullet. The technology still needs testing across different environments and other bycatch like sharks and seabirds. Right now, the boys cost about $62 each, but the next prototype should be over 50% cheaper, 50% smaller, more hydrodynamic, water activated, and have fixed downward illumination to light the net sufficiently. And once large scale production begins, prices should drop even further. Incentives or subsidies may also help small-scale fishers adopt the gear. If these pilot projects can scale up, 
we could see a global reduction in sea turtle bycatch, a real game changer for both conservation and fisheries. These solar powered buoys might be small, but their potential is enormous, helping turtles survive, helping fishers thrive, and keeping our oceans in balance. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode of Salty Sunday, then please like, subscribe, and share with your like-minded friends.